Hey, welcome to the farm. Uh, so I've been getting questions left, right, and center because these little guys here, these little guys have been hit with mistaken identity. Mistaken identity. So because they're there's a lot of these guys, especially, you know, now they're starting to rain a little bit. We're seeing them more and more. So lots of people are asking what these are. They're taking pictures and they're using these identification apps and the identification apps or these articles that are wrote and written online. They actually just use stock photos for the articles, many of the articles, and they see a red mite and they just grab that photo without actually knowing what kind of insect it is. And so people like me, or you, we get bamboozled with this idea that these are bad things and that we need to get rid of them. So what's happened is a lot of people don't even know what they are and they see an abundance of them. So they think they must be bad because some random internet professional has said, these are this thing and you must do this and this and this to kill them immediately. And so it happens, they don't know what it is. And the first reaction human reaction to something we don't know what it is, we want to get rid of it, right? So one of the hardest things that I had to learn as a grower that grows primarily using uh, regenerative practices is I had to learn not to react, to observe, to be responsive to what was around my garden, right? So I had to learn how to observe these little insects that were showing up and identify, are they hurting my plant? Are they attacking my roots? What are they doing? If you actually look at these little critters, they're scurrying around the soil, eating something. They're not attacking the roots. They're not attacking the plants. In fact, they're usually around when the soil is moist. Well, what is it that usually is around when the soil is moist? Fungus gnats, fungus gnat eggs. So these little guys are in here cruising around on the soil, eating all of these tasty little fungus gnat eggs and whatever else they can find that looks tasty delicious to them. They're not eating the plants. I've never seen one on a plant. They're not eating my plant roots. They're just cruising around, enjoying little drive-through snacks in the soil. So, what I find quite interesting is that lots of people will message me and say, these are abundant in my garden. How do I get rid of them? And do you sell ladybugs? All in the same sentence. And it's just like, okay, so we educate ourselves as humans to look at something and figure out, let's educate ourselves. How do we get rid of it? Then how do we fix what we got rid of? <laughs> Why don't we educate ourselves to figure out what it is first? just a thought. Anyways, I need to get back to work. And thank you everyone that has been supporting our farm, buying uh, stuff from our website, which we basically sold out of everything. And thank you to everyone that's been watching our vlogs and sharing content and messaging us saying really kind things. We really appreciate you and uh, we'll see you soon. I did see that there was, I got to show you this before I go, I'll show you this and then I'm going to go back to work. So pretty, anemones. There are so many buds in here. Anemones forever. Bye for reals.